first of all, I loved being in Virginia uh, and on that beautiful campus. And uh, I just enjoyed it so much. Uh, I think that uh, when I was there, we there was a great faculty. And I think there has always been a very good faculty. And I love the single sex education. I had gone to a girls school and I was happy to go to a girls college. I know it's different now, but that's what I liked about it then. And um, I've always liked coming back to the campus. But the most important thing about Mary Baldwin is this series of fantastic presidents that we've had over the years, Cynthia Tyson and Pamela Fox, and uh, they have led the college so delftly and so magnificently, and I'm proud of where it is now. I have loved meeting the scholarship recipients. Uh, I have a travel and study abroad scholarship, and when I've been at Mary Baldwin, I have met these girls and I've seen how it has changed their lives and it makes me so happy. I remember at Mary Baldwin that they had the study in Spain and I always was interested in that. And uh, later, I, uh, after I graduated from college, I went to live in Italy uh, in a town called Perugia, which is in Umbria where I studied Italian and art history. And I loved that experience. Uh, it was fabulous. And so I remembered that Mary Baldwin had had programs like that. And I thought, well, I want to do something like that. I want these students to be able to go and have experiences like I did and live abroad, learn a new way of thinking, learn, meet new people. And I think that it will make the world better. And so that's it. It's my way of helping. And I just, I want them to experience more than the campus at Mary Baldwin. Uh, it's as beautiful as it is, I want them to go out into the world. Uh, and then I want to help Mary Baldwin continue to flourish. As I said, I've been so proud of Mary Baldwin and how it's grown over all the years. And I just want it to keep going.